Hey, what's good, YouTube? What's popping, you guys? So, look, um, I'm going ahead and show you guys my build video on my 2 way size and playmaker. You guys can see right now, he's a 98 overall, bro. I have a shot playmaker, I don't use him no more, bro. I, I hang up his jersey, he's done, he's, he died, bro. He died. This build right here is different. I'm going to show you guys my build so you know, gotta make on point guard, right? I didn't mind right handed, but I mean, right, left, really don't matter to be honest. Pick a random number, no cap. Alright, so this play chart, a lot of people like, a lot of people thought it was like playmaking and slashing or defending and slashing. Honestly, it's just playmaking and defending, bro. Play, one of the playmaking defending pie chart. Now there's, now there's two physical profiles you can do. I did the first one with 95 speed, but the second, actually the, this is probably the best one right here to do. It's the fourth one down, 94 speed and 95, 95 vert. That's the one you should, you should probably do. But I like the way I did it. You know, I got the speed, the vertical is pretty good, acceleration is good. So, really don't matter. I just did the first one. Now, the way you want to upgrade this, you're going to have 11 slashing badges. So, max out all your slash. You don't need standing up, you don't need post up. Now, if you want if you want more badges, go ahead and go ahead and put up post up. You really want more badges, but I mean, you really don't need it, bro. So, we're going to take we're going to take 3 off of close shot. You want to max out your shooting all the way. You're going to have 10 shooting. Max is bad. We're all the way out. Okay. Then ball handling. Now, you can max this out if you want 23 playmaking badges. I'm sure you guys right now. If you max it out, you can get 23. But you really don't need 23, bro. All you need is 21. So you're going to have a 47 um, post, post move. Now, for defense, where it gets tricky. A lot of people are going to put up perimeter defense, a lot of quickness, steals, blocks, you know, that's not how, bro, the way this game's made, you gotta cheat the system, bro, so I'm gonna show you guys what to do, max out your defensive rebound, alright, max out your lateral quickness, max out your perimeter defense, and then you wanna max out your steals, you don't even know, you wanna get 75 steal, and max out your blocks, so 46, that's what you wanna do right there. Telling you, bro. You're probably thinking, why won't you match your steal out? You probably that's why you don't get no steals, or why don't you get your block up? You probably not getting no blocks, bro. Stats don't matter, bro. It's all about badges. You have the right badges, you're gonna get all the steals you want. You're gonna get all the blocks you want. And to your defense, big man's really don't score on me, bro. If they go in the post, we just reach. You get a steal every time. So I made my guy define. Wait, right, did I? Yeah, make your guy define six five. Now minimum weight, bro. Trust me, bro. You, you're not gonna feel that difference. You want the minimum weight, minimum wingspan. Actually, not minimum wingspan. We'll go 78.0. Yeah, 78.0. Takeovers. Do not do playmaking. Do not do shot creating. If you're like a shot player, off of the threat, shot creator is pretty good. But for this build, do slashing or, or lockdown. I did slashing. I did slashing. So go ahead and press yes. Slashing to me is the best one. See, now you made a two-way slash playmaker. Now, I'm, all, I'm gonna show you guys how I have my bag set up. I'm gonna show you guys my stats at the 98 overall. So, I'll see you guys when I get into the park. Alright, so look, we finally loaded into the park. I'm gonna show you guys right now. This shit's not lagging. My 98 overall, two way selected playmaker. And no, I didn't. I barely. No, I played career with this kid to get some of his badges. But I didn't grind a 98 overall career. If I did, I would have been a 99.9. .9, only a 98.4, something like that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my stats first. At 98. You got a 72.3, and that's pretty good, bro. Like, I'm gonna put up a screenshot right now. Bro, I don't miss from the three-pointer, bro. Now, this is not the build when you wanna shoot 10 three-pointers a game. It just, I ISO. So this is the perfect ISO build for playing twos. So the way I play, I just I just try to get into the paint as much as I can. And if he sags off, I just either do a mid-range or I do a step back three. This is what this build is made for. It's not made, it's not made to hide behind a screen and shoot mad threes. It's meant to dunk on people, bro. You see a 90 dunk. 85 driving layup. Uh, look at the, can I look at the stats? I look at the difference of stats. It's pretty good, bro. I, I horse on centers. I don't even have hustle rebounder on, bro. I got 98, 98 um acceleration, 86 vert, 98 stamina, 98 speed, 90 ball handling. It's perfect, bro. Now my badges. This is my badges. So I all my badges are maxed out, by the way. All, the, all my badges are maxed out. We had 11 slashing badges, and these are the best ones in my opinion. 
Um, low key, if you really wanted to, you could put Lob City Finisher, but you catch lobs anyway, you don't need that badge. Or you could put like Giant Slayer, but I just kept my Relentless Finisher because I know I'm gonna be dunking a lot of big men. And I just need, I need, I just need that Relentless Finisher, bro. But I might change it. Shooting badges, I kind of wish you get more shooting badges on this build, not gonna lie. Because if I did, I'll put Hazo Hunter Gold and I put Dead Eye Gold. You can't have Hall of Fame shooting badges or slashing badges. You can only have Hall of Fame defensive and playmaking. But these are the best shooting badges in my opinion. Um, I know the monster, he got his badges set up different on his playmaker. But they don't work for me. This is the best for me. Playmaking, now my playmaking badges change a lot. Um, I got four general Hall of Fame handle for days. Quick first step. I recommend these three Hall of Fame. I'm pluckable. I'll at least have a gold or silver. But I keep my just gold because the game was stupid and broken. Now, Dimer, I only have Dimer on because I run ISO and you know. Not a lot of centers are good this year, so I put diamond on just so they can shoot more greens. But honestly, you can sometimes I change it depends on what I play with. Either have I either have gold diamond, gold lap city, or I just put ankle breaker if I play like straight one v one or something. But right now I'm keeping it on diamond. Now I actually changed my defensive badges a couple days ago. These are my defensive badges right now, and I'm not gonna lie, this is a, bro. I mean, I 21 a lot of 20 oh 21 oh a lot of people lately with these bad setups. Now, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys a couple ways you can put your badges. So I'm gonna take all these off. Now the way I had set up at first, I had clamps gold, terminator gold. I had pick dodger gold. You need pick dodger to play two. No matter what, but if you play two to three, you need pick dodger, bro. Cause you're most likely you're gonna be running a guard and people are gonna be hitting you with screens. We need trapper. I put trapper gold. Pit pocket gold, uh, heart crusher gold. That's how I first set it up. That's one way. Another way: take heart crusher off, take trapper off, put intimidator hall of fame, put interceptor gold, and rim protector. Interceptor silver and rim protector gold. That's a good way. Now, intimidator with rim and rim protector together. Bro, you, a lot of people miss layups. No matter if you're not even near them, they just they be missing layups. So this is a good bad setup. And I'm showing you guys one more way. You can do clamps, Hall of Fame, Team Hall. Basically, the way I had it set up last time. Go Hall of Fame and go. That's how I have mine. That's how I'ma keep it. Pick pocket don't work. Do not put pick pocket on. I mean, you can put pick pocket on, but honestly, it really don't work, bro. It really don't work. For some reason, you can put rebound chaser on. Like, if you don't want interceptor, you can put rebound chaser on. Rip protector. I, re I recommend if you take a interceptor off, at least put um, rip protector gold. But um, this is my bat setup. Um, what else can I show you guys? I can show you guys my. I'm not even gonna show you my dribble moves, bro. 50 likes. 50 likes, and I'll show you guys my my dribble moves. Now, the jump shot I use on this character is the same one I just posted. So go check that out. Link in the description. I use this on all my all my builds, bro. All my, my shot play, I use this. My center that I play on twos with, he uses the same jump shot. So this jump shot that I posted like my last video does work for any build, bro. Any build, so can check that out. But 50 likes for a dribble tutorial and my signature styles. And no, I throw in I throw in my dunk packages and my layup package too. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a happy, happy Christmas. What? I do the dash in the rose work. I've been dropping them baddies yet from the start. Got some bricks of that baby up in the car. From the night to the day, we be going hard. Got some bricks of that, yeah, you.